Hey, Joe's Pepper House members. Today I'd like to give you a little update of what I'm going to do and what seeds that I had started and how I did it. Hopefully it works. I know a lot of you professional growers, amateur growers, uh, could maybe could help me out. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But with all the videos that I saw on YouTube and things that I picked up through reading, I think this should work out fine. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And please leave the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Okay, here I'm gonna go ahead and start out by showing you guys what I, uh, like the nutrients and everything that I got. Here I got the Flora Micro Grow um, series here, as you guys are well aware of. Got the pH up and down. I got the CalMag over here. Went ahead and picked up a couple of these things here, which are really nice for adding nutrients. And if you guys notice something different here, you see this grow station or germination station, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it has this single T5 light in here, okay? And the problem with this is that I don't think it's going to be adequate lighting for when I plant the plants over there. So what I had done is I took from this kit here that comes with the smaller uh, rock wool. And I went ahead and started some seeds. Go ahead and get this towel pulled up. And I started these on November 7th. So what I'm going to do is show you guys what I had done. Okay, as you guys can see, the stand here has changed. I took that light out of here, okay? And I replaced it with this two-foot, um, it's a two-bulb system here. It's the same T5. Everything that I'm going to be running in this office is, has a T5 lights, okay? Uh, this was originally in this 2 by 30 tent, okay? And then I had, because I had made a mistake when I placed my order. I don't know, maybe I got into a little bit of a rush or whatever when I was ordering. Not really a rush. It was just more that I made a mistake. This is only a 2. I meant to get the 4 bulb one for the that tent over there, which I do have installed. It came in yesterday. Um, so this way here, instead of having one light shining across this whole area here which there's nothing going on in here this is just storage and extra thing i just haven't put up yet um but eventually in time this will be full when i go to germinate so here's the light here so here i'm going to show you what i got going on and all i have done was taken the net pods that are in those uh hydroponic totes over there and I went ahead and filled it up with some clay pellets and the small rock wool. and just kind of buried the seed down there a little bit. So all I did was, after I put this all together with the seeds, so I went ahead and added water, but also pH balanced it. And I didn't need very much to get this down. My city water here is approximately, it's like 8, 8.5. And I got it down to 5.8 for these uh, this germination part of the setup. And of course, I got a heat mat under there, and because I have it open, the temperatures did drop, but it's set for 80 degrees. And I thought that by adding this two-foot light here, it's a two-bulb system, that it would cover this area, you know, once these start to sprout, and I think it would work out great. Now, I need your guys' opinion. Should I, while these are germinating, do I leave the towels over top of this until they sprout and then add the light? I'm going to go ahead and put this back. I'm going to grab my towels. Make sure that sensor is good. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I had this pot over here, so I went ahead and switched it over. I forgot to tell you guys, but I'm growing here. Uh, in this row here, we're doing the King Star, the White Thaya. The rest of these are from Pepper Joe. If you want to check out Pepper Joe at pepperjoes.com. Here is their Jalapeno. Here is their Tabasco Hot. And here is the Trinidad Scorpion. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this back in the dark. Pretty sure I'm doing this right, hopefully. I did not add any nutrients for this. 
Uh, maybe when they start to sprout, I'll do like a half, maybe a treatment to them or a quarter treatment. I don't know yet. I'm just learning as I go. Uh, but other than that, guys, let me know your thoughts on this little light setup here. Okay, now over here is going to be a little different. All right. I'm going to take the two net pods or whichever ones that sprout. And I'm just going to drop them in here, of course, with the pH balance. I'm going to add my nutrients first. Uh, then I'm going to add the uh, you know, pH to water and then put the net cups in here. And I'm going to do them on an angle on each one. Now that Trinidad Scorpion, it might be a little much. I don't know. Maybe I'll just plant one back here or so. And this whole setup here is I'm going to take it down uh, for right now. This can be used later when I move everything down in the basement. But what I like to do is take the, um, I got a six lamp. It's uh, basically like the one I'll show you here in a minute in my other tent. Uh, instead of the four lamp, it's a six lamp T5 setup that I'm going to hang from the ceiling with these uh, adjustable hanger thingies. Okay, and I'm going to hang them up on the ceiling right over top of this plant or these plants here, which I think will give it adequate light to grow. If you guys are wondering, these are the Savvy Grow DWC systems. You can check them out there. Pause the video if you need to. www.savvygrow.com. They're a little bit cheaper when you buy, buy them in twos. As you can see, you got to put it together, which is simple to do. You just got three rubber grommets. You got one here, grommet there, and a grommet here. You got these 290s, these elbows here. And you got to cut this uh, tube out, uh, and that's your sight glass. That's the point of that. And it comes with clear tubing, but I have a bunch of uh, this quarter-inch airline, the black one. I just don't want to get any exposure to algae. But if you look in here... It's got your simple air stone. And this baby's ready to rock and roll. Now what I did notice, I do have it unplugged right now, but what I did notice is that when I shine the light down, just with this light, you can see light reflecting in there. So I'm a little concerned about algae growth. So what I'm going to do is put aluminum foil over the top of all this to block any additional light that could get added into here. I'm just not going to worry about the sides for now. And of course, this is just an experiment. I know I shouldn't be doing this for my first time, but I've seen so much on this that I, I'm hoping that I could pull it off. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If I should just do one plant per thing, maybe put, you know, separate them or whatnot. Okay. But here you see, I got both tents put up. Again, this is the, this is the 48 by 24 by 96. There's two of them, and then this is a 24 by 30 by 87. I believe it's 87 tall. It just doesn't quite go up to the ceiling. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what I have set up inside these tents. And I got to say, these ultra yield tents, they seem to be pretty nice. They block out like pretty much all the light. All right, so this is the four tube light fixture here. I'm sure you guys seen that in my other videos. You see how much higher the tent goes up. And over here, I have the DWD. Yeah, I have the tote set up. I'd like to get your guys' opinion on what you think how this is going to work out. Okay, so what I had done, obviously, as you guys can see, is I cut my holes out. Very easy to do. I can show you guys that here in a minute. You can see they're a tight fit. And all I done here was taken and I bought some half inch 90s. And here's a tube. And here's my water level that goes up to here. That puts the water right to the bottom of the net pods. Maybe just a little bit above this bottom rack here. Just so the nutri the pellets could get uh, the water soaked up through to the rock wool. Okay. And then this little pump here. I believe that's a 950 gallon per hour pump. And I'm just going to run two of these lines here. I don't think I got them in there. No, they're not in there. But I got the air stones that I'm going to put in here. And it's just going to run two because that's all this pump can handle with these two. Uh, they're two inch by one foot long air stones. And they take quite a bit to pump through. They're claiming like 15 watts per 
stone, and I believe that's a 30-watt pump right there, which I do have another one of those pumps as a spare in case that one does go out. I just got to run the lines, the tubing, which I already have the quarter-inch holes drilled in the back here, and I'll get that ran in there soon. But my main question to you guys is, I'm sure it's tall enough for the plants, for sure, but is that going to be too close together for the pepper plants? I mean, is that, do I got room in there? I mean, like I said, it's 48 across this way, or is that going to be too tight? I'm still going to try it if I have to prune or do whatever I got to do. Hopefully it works. I've seen other people do it with success, but I would just like your thoughts. All right, guys. Well, here's the tools that I use to modify the tote. And as you can see, it's just, this is a wood blade. This would be much better just on a handheld thing. You don't have to get a DeWalt. There's a lot cheaper ones. I just had this laying around. And here you'll see, uh, like I said, it's a wood cutting blade, which worked fine. It does leave, you know, some chars that you could take a razor blade and uh, clean it all up. Here's where I started my drill. And this is the same 13 16 bit that I used in my buckets, in my DWC buckets. And I'm telling you, this thing's like 20 bucks on Amazon, and it's perfect for drilling half-inch holes for your grommets, okay? Even though it's 13 sixteenths, the grommet outside diameter, it fits perfect, okay? But this here, I have done, I think it was uh, six buckets I drilled, or a total of seven holes that I've drilled with this bit. Clean cut every time, no breaking, no scarring. You don't even have to clean it out with a razor blade or nothing. This thing's perfectly smooth, like butter. Okay, and then I have just a quarter inch uh, drill bit. That's what I ran for the standard quarter inch uh, airline. And then, of course, as you guys seen in there, I had put aluminum foil over the top to help reflective. And I did use the dull side, not the shiny side. Okay, and over here are those air stones, I'm telling you. I'm putting two of them inside the first tent, which where you saw the uh, tote. As you can see, I got my vents open there. Okay. I'm just experimenting with my uh, the system that I got over here, the Thermal Pro. Okay, it's gonna tell me everything. It's all it's touchscreen, kind of cycles through, tells you what all the humidity levels and all that stuff. Just uh, playing around with that. All right. So anyway, these are the air stones. Like I said again, these are two inch by one foot long, two inch by twelve inches. I don't know if I care for that style fitting. I can't tell if that's doesn't look like brass. I'm not sure. But I really don't like anything metal. I don't think I'm going to like anything metal, but I'm going to give it a shot. That could be stainless. I'm not sure. I seriously doubt it, though. But regardless, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, that covers tent one. Let's go over here to tent two. Okay, so here's tent two. And it's got the same identical lighting. Nothing different there. And over here, you'll see I got my DWC bucket set up. All you got there is a six inch net pot. Fits perfectly. It does snap on. Here is the, the tube with the 90 degree angle for my sight glass. I have not filled it up with water yet and put any marks on the hoses because I'm just not there yet. I'll do that, do all the measuring. And I did find out, if you guys are wondering, on the Walmart, I got these at Walmart. And you'll see here, you know, if that gives you any kind of a sign that, you know, you go to Walmart's webpage and, uh, or web, go to Walmart's website and you'll see these buckets there. Uh, just pay attention to the groove. And they're black. I think it's the only black ones they carry in uh, five gallons. But regardless, um, here is uh, the Walmart brand. And five gallons, yes, I did, took 20 times in a four cup measuring cup and filled this up. And to see where the five gallon mark is so I know what to do. And I also use this as a gauge when I did the other tent, tent one, when I was filling them up. I'd fill five gallons up here and put it poured in there. And I do have the map here somewhere. Okay, I found the notes here. For the 27 gallon tote, uh, I'm going to use 15 and a half gallons, which is for, that puts it about a half an inch below the net, the net cups that are, like I said, in the other tent. Uh, and then for the seedlings, when I first set it up, I'll have 16 and a half gallons, which brings it right up, like I said before, to the top, to the top of this, uh, net cup. 
But regardless, uh, this is my setup for now. And my question to you in this tent, which is tent number two, is, is that too many plants being spread out in this tent? Like I said again, four foot across. I know it's tall enough, but is it um, adequate, adequate space here? Or do I need, sorry about that. Or do I need to remove a bucket and only plant two in here? You know, I mean, I'm not 100%, but you guys that have grown in tents before could tell me if I'm going to have enough room or whatnot. But I was going to start out with three just to experiment with. And, of course, I don't have the air stones yet. They haven't uh, come in, and that's just the only thing I'm waiting on before I start those seeds. And here I'll show you the pump. Okay, before I show you the pump, I went ahead and opened up tent three. And here you can see it doesn't go up quite as high you guys can see there but either way what i got going on here is like a double bucket system okay i got two buckets in one and what i've done here is this one here has a 10 inch net pod okay or net cup whatever you want to call it and what i've done is this bucket stayed whole like a standard five gallon uh dwc and I'm hearing, well, it's true that these nut cups come down pretty deep, all right? So all I did is I took that same tool I showed you earlier, and I just cut the bottom out. It was real easy to do, no problems at all. Did it by hand in no time. So my plan here is that when I fill the water up, what it'll do is it'll give you more room for the roots is how I'm taking it, and uh, it does not leak. Because your water still only comes up to about here, okay, because of how far this net pod comes down. So I was able to, all I did was just made this hose a little bit taller. And uh, I think this should work out great. What do you guys think? Uh, the only thing is, is how tall this plant's going to grow. I'm thinking that I'll be fine. It's a, Like I said, this tent here is 30 inches wide, 2 foot deep, and 87 tall. So I'm not sure what I'm going to plant in these tents yet. I haven't figured it out, but I will soon. And this here is the four lamp two foot light. The cool thing about this light is you could uh, turn a set off, run the two center ones or run the two outer ones. But for my case, I'm going to end up running both of them. All right, now I shall go ahead and show you guys the pump. Now the next pumps, it's a 1750 gallon per hour and that pump's going to run uh, this bucket and these three over here that are inside tent two. And as you guys can see, I could just slide this tent over and you can see where I have it. It's, it's just tucked in there. All right, everybody. I hope you like what you saw. Like I said, I'm just learning how to do all this stuff, picking up a lot of information and a lot of reading and all that, watching you know videos, some great videos out there. And I appreciate everybody out there that knows what they're doing and that was willing to help is that that is willing to help support me and just kind of a walk around again through the office and my tents over there as you can see and i'm sure you guys a lot of you guys a lot of you my subscribers here know that i'm real heavy in barbecue okay as you can see that's my big it's a custom trailer uh if you would like to check out more on this channel it's over at Joe's Barbecue House, okay? I do a lot of cooking over there. I haven't in a while because I damaged uh, some ribs here. And then to take the gear outside, all my camera gear out and do everything, season it, it's it's a lot of work. So I'm gonna try to get one of my boys to help me out today. Let me get a video up on that channel. It's been a little while. But here is easier in the office. I could just hold my camera, walk around. It's pretty easy. And here's all the Pepper Joe's sauces. There is some from other companies that I'm going to be trying doing some taste tests i'll do a series on them but either way if you guys want to check out my barbecue channel go check it out also we'll be in trying to incorporate this whole pepper thing in with the barbecue because naturally the reason why i'm growing these peppers is for doing rubs uh powders also things like you know hot sauces of course 
Tabasco sauces and, and just all kinds of stuff that I could marry in with the barbecue. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this office is a 12 by 13 office. And I'm going to have pretty good growth space in here just for the office. Now, I do plan on moving or going down into the basement eventually, just not right now. As you guys know, I got a pretty good chunk of change invested in what I have now. And it'll just be in time. We're just going to see how this works out in here. And if it works out well, then you best believe that I'm going to really blow this up. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so you can get notifications when I upload new videos. And also like this video if you liked it. Share it out to your friends. So, hey, you guys have a great day and we'll catch you in the next one.